Aries. It will be a reading based on love and broken up into two parts for singles and couples. So let's have a look now and see what's coming up. <clears throat> okay, the Devil, the Emperor, the Hierophant. This is major arcana energy at play for singles. Um, and you're coming up as the Emperor Aries. So this is quite powerful. Um, with the Emperor here, this is a controlling energy. And I think that's sort of heightened with the Devil. Um, you could be trying to control a situation or a person here who's coming in around you. I don't know if you're trying to make it a purely physical or sexual connection or you're, uh, there's there's potentially a bit of obsessive behavior happening around you. Either you to someone else, perhaps an Aries, Taurus, or Capricorn, or perhaps one of these signs or any sign around you. Uh, because the devil is, it's quite a lustful or a tempting energy. You do have the marriage card with the Hierophant, so this is a possibility of an affair for some of you with someone who is taken. Or there might be some sort of flirtatious and or sexually charged energy between yourself and someone who may be taken. Okay, someone who you've admired or idolized, sort of observed from a distance, this person could be coming forward. And there could be a sexual episode that could result for some of you. For others, there could be someone here who's maybe after a physical, okay, maybe just wants to have fun. That's what I associate with the devil, but then the Hierophant is a different story. The Hierophant is traditional, so this is very contrasting behavior. It's either there's someone taken who wants the bit of fun, who just wants to just party, do the physical, and that's enough for them, or it could be someone who is like this Aries, but slowly going to become more traditional. So perhaps they've only shown you the devil side, you know, the cheeky side to them, the playful side, the non-committal side. But then suddenly that could be changing. But I don't know if this is you trying to take control of the situation. Because you're coming up as the emperor, so, you know, you're not coming up as the, as the sun. You're coming up as, I mean, you are upright. Um, so I do feel like you want to have the upper hand or will have the upper hand in this situation. But I wonder if... I wonder if the Emperor here is you not letting someone through. You're sort of, you've got your walls up. See how we see the throne and like the barren lands behind him. So, and he does look a bit stern and strict. So it's almost like you could be, you could be a bit strict with someone here. Or there might be someone who's trying to approach you, but you're not letting them. You're potentially giving off some vibes that you're, either non-interested or that you're, you're you're keeping that at uh, keeping them at arm's length and they may be observing you from a distance Aries so if you have sort of kept someone away or given them the vibe that you aren't interested maybe they're back to observing you page of pentacles is reversed um upright you know it's a fixation he doesn't see or hear anything else he's so focused on this pentacle here but it's reversed so I wonder if this is an unhealthy fixation or a detachment of some kind, Aries. And I do feel like there is detachment. I said with the Ten of Swords, this can be sort of moving on, um, finally seeing something or someone for what it was. So if you're recently single and you're, you still feel somewhat attached or binded to someone, maybe legally, maybe emotionally, maybe even sexually, you're still tied together, you still sleep together, you're still intimate, the Page of Pentacles Reverse could indicate that you're letting go of that. You're letting go of what you thought you once had because Page of Cups is fantasies. It's reversed here. So you no longer are having the same fantasies or visions with that person. Something has changed here for you. It could even be an act of deception that has changed for you. Or there could be someone here coming in around you who is a bit of a deceiving character. Not necessarily a cappy. Um, but the Emperor and the Hierophant, the Devil, these are all very influential characters. Um, so the character of this person... For example, they have options, they feel powerful, maybe they're highly confident, they have something that works in their advantage, uh, so maybe that's why they like to play games or feel like they can. There could be a sense of entitlement here, 
uh, because they feel that way. They feel confident enough to do that. Maybe it's even overly confident in a situation. And you may see that and it may put you off Aries. But it's not always the case. It could just be you have a very strong sexual attraction with someone coming forward. Maybe they are a Taurus, but maybe they're slower to act. The Hierophant, the Emperor, the Devil, they're all intimidating. So it's either you're intimidating someone here who wants to be with you romantically, or they are really intimidating you, and you are both noticing this about each other. Let's move on and have a look for couples. Aries couples. Okay. Lack of communication or breakthrough. You're losing patience in a situation, maybe, Aries. You are potentially losing faith or losing patience or someone is testing your patience uh, or you are testing theirs. The temperance card is reversed here. Normally it's about balance, honesty, straightforwardness, communication. This is also communication. It's reversed. So right now you're potentially not seeing eye to eye with someone. You need to give it time maybe, but patience for some reason, it's, it's almost like you're impatient. It's the five of pentacles can be quite a defeated energy or an exhausted energy. So there might be something here that you've said that you've communicated time and time again with the ones, eight of ones. It's been you, I think. You're the ones and you've come out, but for some reason it's reversed or someone's feeling exhausted, but they're not communicating that. They're sort of, what I get is sort of suffering in silence. Uh, from this, someone suffering in silence and not, not communicating about it because they either don't want to fix it or they don't see, not that they don't see hope in the situation, Aries, whether it's you or them, uh, but they're, they're missing something here. Uh, the enjoyment has been taken out of something, okay? The enjoyment of dating, of sex, of your relationship, the fun-loving energy is missing and someone is noticing that and they're not feeling good about it. So if you're wanting to turn things around here, Aries, for some of you, that might be the way in which you have to do it. You have to bring back that fun-loving, adventurous, high-spirited Sagittarian energy, which is this way. But seeing that it's reversed, there's, there's something here. that, oh, sorry, there's something here that is just, there's lack, Sagittarius, um, but patience and moderation, and we have the, you know, this, this exhausted energy. I don't know if this is financial problems as well for some of you couples, there might be a quarrel about finances, or you're not going to talk about finances or even generosity this is a lack of generosity there might be a lover here who needs your help or there could be money problems in the relationship that may come about um the knight of pentacles is here and he is upright clad in his armor holding up the pentacle so you may find a resolution but i wonder if that is going to create almost like you not talking so there's a period of potentially what i'm seeing is no contact not talking about it not wanting to talk about it not wanting to open up about something Again, I don't know if it's you that sort of started this Aries, but you may be the one to finish it with the Ace of Wands. And it could be your initiative as the sun here. It's your initiative. You will have to be the one to, you know, um, swallow your pride and be the first one to like break no contact or say something. Even if it's that you feel exhausted doing this. You know, the, repeti the repetition symbol with the two of pentacles. You've done it time and time again, and it's gotten to a point where you're somewhat exhausted. But see how the knight of pentacles is dressed? He looks like he's ready to go. So I don't know if you're going to give out an ultimatum here of some kind or say you're ready to leave, ready to go. 
that could just be what's coming up here uh, for couples. Someone needs care and nurturing and balance and they don't feel like they're getting that from you, Aries, or you potentially don't feel like you're getting that from someone. We need tender love and care when we see the Five of Pentacles. But if the only aid that's coming here is, you know, the, it's not the angel because the angel is reversed, so it's not the tenderness. It's sort of the, the iron-clad Knight of Pentacles who looks a bit cold and intimidating. So the approach needs to be a soft and sensitive one, if that makes any sense at all. Perhaps the Knight of Pentacles is a little bit too... You know, all we can see is his eyes and he's on this black horse. It's like... The dark horse. And I think seeing that, if this is the only card that's coming up right and we have to depend on the knight, the knight, you know, if he's approaching the five of pentacles, think about it. It just, they need, they need someone else to help them from their situation. I don't think the knight... I mean, whilst he can represent things like chivalry, I wonder if this solution that you're thinking about is the best one for this situation that is right is happening between the both of you. So there's something about an approach or a solution that needs to be thought um, before you go ahead with that Aries. So I do hope that has been helpful. Thank you again uh, for singles and couples for tuning in.